The RB22 is one of the quickest deployable barrier systems on the market and can withstand impacts from errant vehicles traveling up to 50 miles per hour. These barriers can be deployed without a forklift when empty and are fully compatible with our mesh and hoarding fencing systems. Where possible, make sure the RB22 barriers are placed on even ground. The female end of the RB22 barrier has a dual recessed section which contains two integrated holes. This section allows for solid connection to the male end of the connecting barrier. The male end of the RB22 barrier has two robust protruding loops, which are specifically designed to interlock with the recessed female end of the connecting barrier. Once alignment and ground level have been checked, firmly push the male end into the interlocking female end. Start the connection process by gently inserting the connection pin into the connection hole. You may feel some moderate resistance, which will require some gentle downward pressure. The pin must never be banged or hammered into place. With the pin now fully in place, secure it by screwing through the eyelet on top of the pin into the threaded hole situated next to the opening. Now, locate the three faceplate screw holes. These three threaded holes can be found at both ends of the barrier and on each side. Attach the faceplate to both sides. The plate has elongated holes to compensate for any level misalignment or slight changes in ground level. Recheck to ensure all previous steps have been carried out correctly. Also, double check all screws are securely fastened. In order to fill the barrier with water, open the filler cap located on the top of each barrier. Insert a hose into the open filler hole and begin filling the barrier. Filling of the barrier is very important as this is the stage that converts the RB22 from a 60 kg shell into a robust 600 kg traffic barrier. The capacity required to achieve the 600 kg filled weight is 540 litres. This can be visually identified by ensuring the barrier is filled all the way to the top. Once filling is completed, ensure the filler cap is firmly pressed back into place. When it is time to dismantle the RB22 barriers, locate the release plug which can be found towards the end of the barrier just a few inches off the ground. If you wish to install fencing or hoarding on top of the RB22 barriers, drop the connection posts in vertically through the holes where the RB22 barriers are joined. This will lock the barriers together instead of the connection pin and also form the support for the fence or hoarding panels. Lift a panel and sit it over the barrier, lining up the brackets on the panel with the brackets on the posts. With one person on either side of the panel, push an M10 by 40 mm bolt with a washer through each bracket hole and fit a washer and nut on the other side. This will lock the panel onto the post, creating a very rigid system. If infill panels are being installed, they go on the outside face of the system with their holes lined up with the brackets of the posts and panels. This must be done at the same time as when the hoarding or fencing panels are installed as the bolts must be threaded through the infill panel first. Once overlapping infill panels are in place, the hoarding system forms a continuous seamless wall spanning the length of the RB22 barriers.